everyone. Welcome to today's live stream. My name's Liz and I have a DIY YouTube channel called Liz from Wick DIY. And today I'm sharing with you my top Amazon deals under $20. I love these videos where I have to stay under a certain price point because I feel like you guys get some great deal options. I'm here with my content manager, Delaney. She is behind the scenes. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure you go ahead and leave those down in the chat. Delaney and I are based out of Kansas City, Missouri. We would love to know where you guys are joining us from. So go ahead and leave that for us down in the chat. Let us know um, what state, what country you're in and how you're doing today. Now, if you're over on YouTube, thank you so much for joining us. And we'd love to show you guys how you can get from YouTube over to Amazon. So you wanna click the link in the description box. It's gonna take you to where I'm live streaming. You can unmute me. Um, you can uh, click on any of the products underneath me in the carousel and add those to your cart. Uh, let's see, Christy is joining us from Alabama. We have Sarah from Texas. So hello, and I'm so glad you guys are here. We have a lot of products to share with you today. Who is coming on over on YouTube, Delaney? We have a ton of people joining us today. We have Louise joining us from Mile 30 on the Alaska Highway. Cool. Hi, Louise. We have Gigi from Philly. Hi, Gigi. Christy says good afternoon. Good afternoon. We have Carrie from Overland Park. Hi, Carrie. Flip Flop Girl, let us know your name. We'll give you a shout out from yes. South or SoCal. Yes. We have a bunch. I'm going to keep popping you guys up on the screen. Keep letting us know where you guys are from. Looks like Joyce is from Derby, Kansas. It's kind of close to us as well. Yeah. Hi, Joyce and Jean's joining us from cold Iowa. Jean, we actually, it's about 50 degrees here in Kansas City. So I don't know, it must be a lot colder up in Iowa, but for some reason we got a break in the cold weather. Um, so hopefully it warms up for you guys. Well, uh, this is a kind of different time for us to go live. Typically, Delaney and I are on early in the morning, but we had some stuff going this morning. So we thought, you know what, we're going to go midday. So I'm hoping um, some different people are able to jump on that may not normally be able to get on the live streams. Um, hey, Nicole. All right, guys, let's go ahead and jump in the pro into the products. Keep letting us know where you're joining from. And if you have any questions, make sure you go ahead and leave those. All right, so first, uh, the first product I want to show you guys is our battery organizer, and our battery organizer is 28% off today. Now, this is, we actually showed two different battery organizers. I like this one, honestly, the most. It's a little bit smaller than the other one I show, but I feel like this is very compact. It's a way you can store your batteries in a cabinet. It also hangs on a wall. So if you want to, there's some screws that come along with it. If you want to hang it on your wall, you can do that, but you can store all of your different batteries. The way it works is you just open up this piece like this, and then all your batteries can be stored in here. Um, it also has a battery tester. So you can see how much life is left in your batteries. Uh, but, and I also think, you know, we get a lot of those like little circular batteries. Those will fit over here. But this is a great way to organize your batteries. Um, this also makes a great gift and it's under that $20 price point. Hey, Carrie, thanks for following us. If you guys aren't following us, go ahead and follow us here on Amazon. Um, you'll just get a notification every time we go live, which is typically twice a week. Okay, next up, you guys, is our power scrubber. Now, this power scrubber is what I use when I want to just really get something that's just like caked on clean. Um, so I love using this. It comes with two different nozzles. So I love using it when I'm cleaning like the grout um, in my kitchen. I also use it on my kitchen cabinets. A lot of times I'll get like food or grease on there and it's kind of hard to wipe away. This does a great job of getting it out. Anytime I'm cleaning out my refrigerator and things have spilled, I'll use this as well. Um, you can also use it to clean grout. There's a lot of different uses for these. It's definitely a high power tool, um, but pretty affordable. And it comes with the two different heads if you're interested in this. Yes, definitely need the power scrubber for your kitchen. Hi, Christy from Birmingham. Um, yay, so glad you figured out how to get over here. And Melody, thanks for following us here on Amazon. 
All right, let me show you two of my musts when it comes to crafting. Now, let me know if you guys watch me on YouTube, on my DIY channel, um, because if so, you may be a crafter. So the two things that I pick up, I would say the most, you think that I'd probably buy these the most, Delaney, off of Amazon? I for sure think you buy these the most. Yeah. <laughs> I can't, I'm trying to think of what else you would buy more. Maybe and I can't. glue sticks. Glue sticks, yeah. yeah. <laughs> glue sticks. That might be the only, only thing. But you guys, these are my favorite crafting ropes. I feel like I find so many different uses for them. So the first is a macrame cord. Delaney, can you tell me how many feet this macrame cord is on this one? Me, I'll pull, okay, so the macrame cord is... 984 feet right so if you just do i mean honestly this is going to last you forever and it's at 15 dollars. so this is great i use this for so many different diy projects i used to use it to create wall art i will wrap it on things but this is a great cord to have the other one that i use all the time is nautical rope you can see this one is actually almost i think Lady, this one's almost done. We, I think we have one that's bigger, but honestly, I have so many different like sizes I know. too. Out of I kind of <laughs> wanted to show them the one that you've used the most. Yeah, we truly use these. Oh, so I know. Much. Like this one's like almost done. Now, how many feet does this one come? So with? this one is a hundred feet. 100 feet. Okay. So 100 feet of nautical rope is priced under $12, you guys. And again, you can see here, I'm making a rope rug with this, but I also, um, you know, will, I will, you know, wrap it around faces. I make wall art. I mean, this is just one that I find myself using so much because I love the natural finish of it. I just think it just adds a great element to a lot of our crafts. So if you are a crafter, these are definitely the two that I recommend. It looks like Rosemary and Melody and Nicole watch us on YouTube. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I'm so excited that you came over today and followed us. So if you don't have those two ropes, those are the ones I recommend. And I do think, does the macrame come in other colors? I think if, if you wanted I to change think, up your color. Let me double check that. If you guys click on that link, you're going to see it comes in different sizes and it comes in different colors. If you want a thicker or a thinner macrame cord, you can get blue, black, gray, orange, pink, purple, red. I don't even want to like list off all the colors because there's a lot now that I'm reading them, but you yeah. can get any color for yeah. your macrame. Yeah, that's awesome. All right. Um, next up, you guys, one of the biggest questions I get asked on YouTube is what my nails are because i think you know i show so many up close pictures of me crafting so you guys see my nails a lot so i buy all of my nails off of amazon i used to go and get my nails done at the salon but it took a lot of time and it was costly and i found that i could do it quickly on a sunday night and they last up to two weeks just by buying um products off of amazon so the one, I, there's two sets I want to show you today. The first is the acrylic set that I use very frequently. You get eight packs of nails in here and they're all like matte colors. Now, before we started, Delaney was telling me, like I have the medium ones, but they also come in the short version. Yeah, I was looking at uh, the analytics of all the live streams and it seems like you guys really like the short nails. Mm -hmm. I've seen a lot of you guys clicking on the short version of these. So I think that's something Liz is going to have to try out. Yeah. It seems like a lot of you guys are loving the short version of these. Well, I was just telling Delaney too, when I first bought these, I didn't even know they came in the short version because I actually will cut these down. So I love that because I feel like day to day, I just need my nails a bit shorter. Like I'm wearing these ones. I'm going to show you these glitter nails and I just cut them down. But guys, you get eight packs of nails for under $10. So if you've never tried them, been interested, this is a great entry point because you get so many nails for the price. Now, these nails actually come with press on tabs, but I do not use that to apply my nails. Delaney, can I skip forward and show them the nail glue yeah. and then come back? So what I use is this nail glue. Now you may be thinking, okay, I have nail glue. I have that squeeze on nail glue. That nail glue honestly just drives me nuts because it's so hard to squeeze out. So this is what I love. It comes in a pack of four. What is our price on this today? It is $9.99 right now. $9.99, you get four bottles of these. Now what makes this nail glue so much better to apply the nails is it has this nail brush applicator. So you honestly, you paint it on like you're painting on nail polish and I will put some on the base of my nails and then I also put some on the fake nail 
just press it down for five seconds it holds on my nails typically last between a week and a half to two weeks depending on the nails um, if one falls off i can just use this nail glue to put it back on so i totally love this nail glue even if you have other nails you try try this nail glue because it's one of my favorites now to go back to um, the nails uh, the other nails that I have listed, these are my glitter nails, and I'm actually wearing the glitter nails today. These are some of my favorites. I actually added, because if you click on the glitter nails, there's a bunch of different varieties you can choose from. The glitters are my favorite, um, but I am going to be trying some others by this because I feel like these nails hold in place really well. They last a couple of weeks. I again put them on with that same nail glue and I just think they're pretty like you get kind of that French manicure look but then it has a little bit of glitter so it makes it fun so when I put these on I actually clip them down a little bit as well you can easily do that I wanted to read a couple comments yeah. out from Amazon and from YouTube. Yeah. We have Sarah over on Amazon says, I've changed over from 15 years of going to get acrylics done at the salon to these nails and they are mm -hmm. amazing. I'm very tough on my nails and they last. The glue is essential to them lasting. Yes, yes. The glue is like the key on that. Like when I, for me, when I switched to this nail glue, it was a game changer for me. Then I could just wear all these different nails that I wanted. Um, yeah, so if you don't want to pay the money, you don't you want to save time, just try it out and see how it goes. Um, for me, it's more like a time thing. Like Sunday night, I can just get ready for the week and put them on. Um, so I love those. Uh, Christy's like squeeze glue is too messy. Yes, I always have trouble with the squeeze glue. Yes. And um, Rosemary said it's the best glue ever. Yes. Yes, it really is. I was excited to find it. Now to go along with your nails, you know when you have nails like these, and especially if you craft you just get things underneath her. I mean, when I'm doing a DIY day, you guys, I get glue, I get paint, I get rub and buff, I get all kinds of things on my nails that I try to wear gloves, but a lot of times I just don't. So I found that this Tweezerman nail brush is a really great option to clean out my nails and it's $5. What I love about it is there's two scrubbing brushes. So you can actually just leave this sitting next to your sink. And then if you ever need it, you can use it. So it's got the scrubber on the back, but I love this front scrubber. You can literally just put your acrylic nails underneath and scrub anything out that you want. So this is a great little nail brush to have on hand if you don't already have one like this. Um, love this one. We have, oh, it looks like we have and Andrea ordered the macrame cord last week. Can't wait to get it. Yay, I'm glad you got it. Christy says she carries a brush in her purse. Yes. So Christy, I am the same way. I have one in my purse. I have one here in the office. Um, I kind of keep them all over the place, but I, I fought a little too many packs of these i went through i don't know if you guys watched my organization video where i was organizing uh where i keep all of my nails i found like i don't even know a ridiculous amounts of these and i was like okay that's why you got to stay organized so you don't just buy too much excess glue it looks like we have a lot of people joining us on youtube if you want to show them how they can get over and shop yes so if you guys are watching on my second channel Liz from mcdaily i'm so glad you're here but i want to show you how to get over to amazon so there is a link down um in the description box that says shop here click on that link it's going to take you to where i'm live streaming and then you can unmute me all the products are going to be linked down below you can follow me over here just so you get notified um, from amazon when we go live so uh, if you're on YouTube, come on over so you can add all these products to your cart. All right, next up, you guys, these are my microfiber hair towels. Now, I have a set of these. I bought a set for my girls for Christmas one year, and they are just such an affordable set. They come in a pack of two. You can get a variety of different colors. Um, mine are in the pink and blue. Now, why would you want a microfiber towel? Well, one, if you're used to putting like a big bath towel on your head, after you get out of the shower this is so much more lightweight it's going to be so much more comfortable maybe you like to let your hair dry while you're doing your makeup this is going to be comfortable on your head because it's microfiber it's also going to absorb the water a lot faster so hopefully that will be less time that you will need for dry time so i do really like this um, these are priced under 13 dollars. they also have a really nice um handle on them and button closure. I haven't had any trouble with the buttons falling off 
And I just think for the price, this is a great set. So we love having these at our house. They've also been through the washing machine so many times. Washing machine dried and they have held up great. So um, if you're looking for a hair towel set, I definitely love those. I want to go back to the nails real quick. I'm going to click on that for you guys because we have several comments yeah. coming in. Yeah. Someone on Amazon, let me know your name. It says your username is Rising Sun. Do you recommend any press-ons for wide beds? Hmm, that is a good question. Um, I would say, a lot. honestly, a lot of these nails are great for wide beds. I actually have kind of small fingers and I struggle with finding theirs. I always have a ton in my pack that I'm not able to use. So I feel like either of these sets would be good if you had wide nails. Yeah, they have a wide mm -hmm. range of sizes in each of these packs for you to get them to fit yeah. your nails. Yeah. We also had a question on YouTube, yeah. Bucket List Homestead. Let me know your name. I'll give you a shout out. I have never worn fake nails. Is the glue hard to get off? No. So if you wear acrylic nails, you know you have to usually soak those off. With these, after the two weeks, you're going to kind of start noticing about a week and a half, they start kind of falling off. And honestly, all I do is take one of the fake nails, put it under the nail, and they pop off. They they are, they are do not take long to pop off. Um, you may have some glue that's on there, but after a day or so, it washes off just with normally washing your hands. And I usually go a day or two before I put a new set on. Like, I'll usually take them off on a Friday, and then I won't put a new set on until the Sunday. You don't have to do that. That's just kind of what I choose to do. But they are really easy to take off. I remember with acrylics, I'd have to, like, go and actually get them soaked off, and it was such a pain. And then thank you hey, for Lynn. your question, Lynn. Yeah. Um, in response to the press-ons for wide beds, Sarah left a comment on Amazon that they have wide beds and they use these press-on nails. Thank you, Sarah, for letting us know that. We appreciate that. Nancy and Jesse, thank you guys for following us over here on Amazon. We appreciate you being here. A few other bathroom products I wanted to show you guys. One is my toothpaste squeezer. I actually have two that I'm going to show you in this video. So this first one is a toothpaste squeezer. It's priced under $5. You get four of them. Now, what you do with this is you actually put it on the tube of your toothpaste. And as you use it, you can pull it down to get more product out. You can use it on toothpaste. You can also use it on um, any creams you have. And you just want to get all the product out. I feel like I have a lot of bottles like that, even in my skincare mm -hmm. that are shaped like that, that would work well for that. I could see that with my face wash as well. So this is a great way, um, a great way to utilize those just to get all the product out. Now, if you've watched me on any of my Amazon videos, you've heard me talk so many times about the Hanalei lip treatment. I know I go on and on about it, but it is one of my favorites. I usually this time of year have super chapped li lips, and I will tell you, I don't. I my lips have felt like it's summertime for me. And it's because I've been wearing this and I put it on morning, night. I also have one in my purse and I wear it all the time. Hanalei is a brand that's based out of Hawaii. So it's US based. They use a lot of natural ingredients in their products. It's a very like I would say the consistency of it is more like a thick. I want to say Vaseline, but, you know, kind of that texture, like a really thick texture. Um, and it is just great. There's no scent to it. It's just very basic, but it's moisturizing to my lips. It lasts on my lips all night. So if you need a good lip treatment, this is one that I recommend. Um, it's priced around $16 and I cannot recommend it more. So this is definitely one of my favorite products. Melody says it's the best lip treatment. Oh, I'm so glad you like it, Melody. I really like it. I've been trying out some more Hanalei products lately and really liking them. I found a cleanser I like. I don't know if we, I don't think we have the cleanser in this video. We don't. Um, but it's going to be an up, an upcoming coming YouTube video. I have the cleanser in there. And then I also got a bronzer from Hanalei that I've been trying that I actually really like too. So um, yeah, I just love that brand. Okay, now during the day, there is, I used to be one of these girls, I love makeup, you guys. I used to be somebody who would have all these different makeup. I'd have all these different lipsticks, everything. I literally have one lipstick that I wear now, and it's this one, you guys. It's, well, I have all different colors, but this is the only brand. It's the Maybelline Super Stay Ink Crayon, and I would put this against any other lipstick it's priced under $9. This is awesome, you guys. It comes in so many different colors, so you can definitely find the shade that works for you. But the reason I love it is it stays on my lips, but it feels like a regular lipstick. 
because if you think about inks or like just lip stains, they don't feel, they're just too drying, they're too matte. Somehow Maybelline's figured out a way to make this lipstick not feel drying, not feel matte, feel like a lipstick, but also stay on my lips. I don't know how they do it. It's great for filming. I usually put it on in the morning. Now on filming days like this, like I put this on in the morning and then before I came in, I put a little bit more on to do this live stream, but I didn't need to. I still had plenty of color on my lips. So if you're somebody who just hates putting on lipstick in the morning and then just seeing it go away, try these out and you can definitely find a color that works for you. Now the color I have here is called Achieve It All. I go for those mauve colors. I also kind of like the hot pink colors but there's there's just so many different colors to choose from so <clears throat> love those um we have several comments coming in about these you guys seem to really like these lipsticks oh and the lip treatments for their lip treatment christy says i received the hanalei lip treatment for christmas and absolutely love it gonna buy another one today that's awesome christy yeah you need one for like like i have one in my purse and then i also keep one in my like vanity drawer i like to have one there it would i'd also kind of like one by my bedside <laughs> especially but, this time of year it's so cold i know They're perfect i yeah i'm definitely somebody who deals with like dry skin and dry lips so i get you roxy says love the lip treatment and the lipstick I'm, I'm sure you guys have probably ordered them because you've heard me talk about them so many times. But you know what? When you find something that's good, it's just you stick with it. You know, you don't need to try a bunch of things if you have something that's good. And then Terry and Renee also said they love the lipstick. So thank you guys for the feedback. Yes. We love hearing all that feedback from you guys. Eileen says Super Stay Lipstick is the only one to buy. Yes. Yes. I love it. Okay. All right, you guys. Next up is our... Oh, sorry. It is the... <laughs> <laughs> this is our purse cleaning ball. Uh, that's a mouthful. So this is such a cool little thing. Um, I showed you this a lot around Christmas because I thought it would be a cute stocking stuffer, but I love having this little guy in my purse. So what it is, is it's a ball that you can put in your purse. You leave it in there all the time. It's so tiny. You're never going to notice that it's there. You can see the Hanalei lip treatments going in, my AirPods. And I was kind of trying to simulate what it would be like to... Um, have uh, your purse, you know, throughout the day. But what happens is, especially if you have food or anything in your purse, a lot of times we get crumbs in our bag and they're hard to get out. This actually will collect those crumbs and it's reusable. So you can actually take the cage off of this ball and then the inside is like this little sticky portion that collects all of the dirt, all of the dust that's in your purse. And then all you have to do is just rinse that ball underwater and then you can put it back into this cage. This is a great way to clean out your purse. Um, I just think this is such a fun gadget. I love little gadgets like this. I love that it's not that uh, heavy. You know, it's not something that's going to weigh your purse down. I mean, you can see I just have it in that little belt bag and it works really great. We have the pink. Delaney, does it come in any other colors? Yeah, so this comes in a couple different colors. You can get a blue or a black as well as the pink. Cool. You can kind of get whatever color fits your personality the best. We had a question about the lip treatment and the lipstick. I will go back to that again. Yeah. Rosemary wants to know if you wear the lip treatment under the lipstick, how do you use both of these products? So that's a good question. So I, you know, I kind of do, um, but not necessarily. Like I will put the lip treatment on, like after I do my face wash in the morning, I put the Hanalei lip treatment on. And then after I'm done doing my makeup, I will, you know, put this on. So it's kind of, it's not, I don't do it immediately. It's kind of already soaked into my skin a little bit. I would say in my lips before I put it on. So I don't do it immediately because I will say that Hanalei is pretty thick. So you want to give it a little bit of time to work on your lips before you put this. But if you're noticing a lot of dry lips, I definitely think you could use these in combination. And then we had a couple comments about products we were showing earlier. I yeah. see a lot of new people joining us on Amazon. We talked about these microfiber hair towels. Brandy yep. said, I bought these hair towels and I love them. Oh, good. Oh, Brandy's from Lisa. <laughs> cool. And then it looks like Dawn says she gave the bag cleaning ball for Christmas. Did they let us know if they liked it, Dawn? Yeah, I'd and like let us know, know if you what they the thought of it. Yeah. Pink one, the blue one, or the black one. Yeah. Because we only have the pink one, so I want to know what the other ones are like. The pink one's cute. Um, I did want to quickly address, we've had a couple comments coming in about 
if you're watching on YouTube, you guys said that there's a scammer posing as Liz. Yes, that is a huge problem on YouTube right now. We've been trying to take care of that. But if you see a comment from someone who says they're Liz, just make sure you check that because we don't want you guys getting scammed. Yes, that's happening on so all yes, yeah. I am seeing videos. all your comments about yes. that, but yeah. All right, next up, you guys, um, this was an item that I didn't know if it was going to be super popular or not, but actually, you guys have really liked this, um, and these are a safety item that I got for my oven. These are called silicone oven rack guards. So this is what they look like. They come in a pack of four, and what you do is you put these on the outside of your oven racks, and what it does is it basically protects your hand and your arm as you're pulling things in and out of your oven. They can withstand up to 450 degrees in the oven. Um, and it's just that barrier. I mean, I don't know how many times I've burnt myself bringing things in and out of the oven. So I love having these. Um, these have been now in my oven for at least a year and they've held up really well. And they're also, you can cut these down. So like these are the little scraps from the leftovers. Um, so you can cut them down to fit the size in your oven. So love those. Another cool gadget item I have is another tooth or toothpaste squeezer. Um, so this comes in a pack of three, and this is what they look like. I have a whole video showing you guys how I use these. So you could use this for yourself and your family. I have one in my bathroom that I use every day. So how it works is you pull out this little key, then you're going to place your toothpaste at the bottom. And then you're going to place the key back into this white stand. Now, this will hold your toothpaste up so you could actually have your toothpaste stand up. Now, what you're going to do is you're just going to twist the key to, and what it's going to do is it's going to squeeze all the toothpaste to the top. So anytime you take the lid off your toothpaste and you want to get a little bit out, just twist the key and it'll continue to squeeze until you get all of the toothpaste out. And it's just a way to continuously use all of your product um, and get every last drop out. And it, if you notice, like anytime you get your toothpaste out of the drawer, like do any of you spend, like I always spend, you know, 10 seconds or something just squeezing all that toothpaste out. You don't have to do that. It's already ready to go and it keeps it ready to go. So love these little things. They are under $6. You can give one, you know, to your kids. You can have one for yourself. But I really like this. This is like one of those gadgets that to me just works. Um, so Stephanie, I want to thank you for following us here on Amazon. Laura says she has the oven rack guards and wish it, that they were great and that, but she wished they were a little longer. Yes. I think a uh, Laura too, I had to put two, um, and then cut one off. So yeah, that, that would work better if they were a little bit longer. And then talking about the oven protectors, Renee says, what? I need those protectors. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty awesome. Especially if you have kids, I don't know, kind of like my kids age where they're wanting to cook more you know i always worry about them getting burned in the um kitchen so they're nice to have okay next up you guys this is a car cleaning gel but it's not just for your car uh, it, really it's great for cleaning electronics any dashboard i know my laptop gets so dirty and dusty and i'm like okay how am i supposed to clean this this is a great option Basically, it kind of feels like flubber and you just run it along any electronics. We have a lot of electronics here at the office that we rub it along, um, like our, our um, what do we call that? We have a laptop. What's we have a board? soundboard. Our soundboard. We that have cameras. Sort of yeah. We have all sorts of lighting equipment. We have a lot of equipment that gets dusty and dirty. Yeah, you can also use it in your car on the dashboard. You can keep it in your car. Um, or, you know, just decide whatever works best for you. But this is great for cleaning your car. And this is honestly one of our number one best sellers on Amazon. So every time we show this, people tend to really like this. And so I think it's just one of those useful items anyone can use. I also think it would make a great gift. I love it. Yeah. I love it. Whenever I see dust in my car now, I keep this in my car and I just grab it and get it real quick. Now, speaking of bestsellers, we get, see, we get, everybody always tells us, you know, we get a list of like everything that sold really well. This was the number one thing last year of anything on our live streams, this USB candle lighter. And I think it's, we're a little biased because we like it so much. We talk about it way too much, uh, but this is priced under $10, but I just think it makes so much sense. So what you do is you charge this candle lighter up just with a normal USB outlet then you can turn it on, use it to light candles, barbecues, fireworks, anything you need to light up. 
if the power ever goes out, you just put the charger back in and charge it up. So you don't have to continually buy these lighters at the store and replace them year after year. I feel like I used to every summer buy like a couple of these to have around the house. They never last too long. Mm -hmm. um, but with these, you really don't have to do that. So absolutely love these. Um, they're probably one of my favorite Amazon things that we show. It's probably my favorite too. Oh, I yeah, totally. I've bought this for so many people. It's it's a game changer for me. Yeah. If you love lighting candles, you never have to worry about burning yourself again. It's awesome. Mm -hmm. All right, you guys, I wanted to show you some uh, beauty items next up. These are, I was trying to find, okay, I was like, okay, what are my affordable beauty finds that I think you guys need to consider? The first one would be the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. This is the mascara I wear every day. It's priced under $5, and honestly, I would choose this mascara over any high-end mascara. It just works really well. What I love about it is I have, I don't, I have somewhat hooded eyes to where this area comes down um, on my lash line. And with most mascaras, the, it would transfer. Like, I would always get mascara up in this area. Ever since I started wearing this, I don't get that. It stays in place really well um, as far as any mascara. It also gives me a lot of volume. So I really love this. It comes in different versions, but I get the black and green tube, which is called False Lash Effects. Um, question, does it bleed after a full day? Um... I don't think so. I mean, I feel like it lasts pretty good for a full day. I mean, I never have to, I mean, I never have to, you know, add additional mascara throughout the day. So it lasts really well throughout the day. Um, you know, like I put this on at seven, you know, o'clock this morning. It still looks good. We're going to go film after this and I will not apply mascara. It just lasts really good. I also feel like I used to use, um, what was that one in the pink tube? I forget the name of it. It was a really good mascara, but it would be really hard to take off. I feel like this is not that hard to take off. So it, it's the Too Faced one. Uh, yes, but it was yeah, yeah, yeah. But there was like a there was there was a version of it that was a drugstore one. I can't oh, remember. I don't know. I can't remember. I don't what know. That I don't was. know. Yeah, let us know if you know what we're talking about. Used, this happens to us all the yeah, time on stream. I know. It's like what what was that thing? And then as soon as we get <laughs> off, we like remember what we're saying. Or everyone's in the comments like it's yeah. this. Duh. Yeah. Um, I, speaking of comments, I wanted to read a couple yeah. off. Dawn says, I got the toothpaste, toothpaste thing for Christmas. My boyfriend said he loves it. Oh, good. And my friend said she loves it too. I'll go ahead and click on that real quick for you guys to see what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Then going to the car cleaning gel, yeah. I got mm -hmm. the cleaning gel for my hubby and his stocking, and it came in a two-pack. I absolutely love it for nice. cleaning. Yes. And then a awesome. couple comments about the candle lighter as well. Nicole says, love that. It was a perfect guy gift for Christmas. Yeah, that's awesome. And then Carrie says, love the lighter. Yay. I'm so glad you guys let us know. Keep telling us what you think of the products. And if you have any questions, we'd love to answer them. This next item is a new product um, for us. This is a great thing to have this time of year, especially, you know, thinking about going into those spring months. This is called Bear August, and this is a foot file. One of the things I like about it is it actually comes with this case on it. Um, it says in the directions that you can use it on dry or wet feet. I think for me, I would probably use it on dry feet, but it would kind of, maybe you just want to try it out and see what's best for you. But it's just to kind of get off any rough skin on the bottom of your feet, um, you know, and then you can put lotion on or, you know, get in the shower, whatever you like to do. I love that it has like this nice handle, the where you file is right here. And then it has this case that you just place on the top. Um, so it's nice and compact if you're looking for something to kind of clean your feet or if you're wanting something to travel with you. You may have like a pumice stone or something that you use right now, but this is great that it comes in its own little case. Yeah. All right. Another thing that I have been trying out lately, uh, I've been trying to like get my hair to grow longer. I know it looks like I have really long hair, especially with it being straight today, but my hair doesn't grow past a certain point. Um, and so one, one person that I follow, um, said the best thing to do to get your hair, 
um, to grow is to take better care of your scalp. And one of the things they rep recommended was getting a scalp massager. So I grabbed this one off of Amazon. It's $10. And what you do is you just run it through your hair at night. And what it's supposed to do is it's, and you can do this like right before you get in the shower. You could also just do it at night. But what it does is it basically massages your scalp and it is supposed to stimulate blood flow in your scalp to then, you know, help it, you know, grow, do all the things that it's supposed to do. So I don't know if it's working yet, but um, I'm trying this. I wanted to show you guys this one I have. This is what it looks like. It also has this little thing like this. Sometimes people like to do this in the shower. Um, so I think this case is great if you want to keep it in the shower. I actually do it dry. So um, there are two options there if you're interested in that. Andrea and Stephanie, thank you guys for following us here on Amazon. Okay, next up, you guys. If you are somebody who um, has used a beauty blender to put on your foundation, I had a really hard time finding a beauty blender that had just that same texture and consistency until I found these. They are set on Amazon of six. They are called Pow Pow Wonder Blenders, and they feel so much like a regular beauty blender. I use a couple of these every day. Now, if you don't use a beauty blender, you may be wondering, you know, like what I use them for. So what I do is I wet them and then dry them, or I wet them and then I kind of wring them out right before I do my makeup. I put my foundation all over my face and then I use this to kind of just blend it in. And it just blends it into the skin so much better than a brush or your hands. I also use it by putting, I put like contour around here and I blend that in. I put... um concealer under my eyes and I blend that in. So it's just a really great way to blend. I mean, I use it for so many different things. I also put powder on it and like I'll go in my T-zone and pat powder on. So these are great. If you've never tried these, um, this is a great price point. If you're somebody who has always bought beauty blenders, try these out because I think they work just as good as the beauty blender. And they're priced under $10 and you're gonna get uh, six. Roxy left a comment on Amazon, says, love those blenders, ordered them through you. Thanks, Roxy. And we had another question on YouTube. Yeah. Eliza wants to know the name of the nail glue for the press on nails. Do you want to show everyone watching on YouTube how they can get over to the links to all of our products we're showing? Yeah, so everything is, so if you are on Amazon, there is an arrow. Or YouTube. Oh, sorry, thank you, Delaney. There is an arrow over here. Click that arrow. It's going to have a link in the description box. Click that link. It's going to take you to where I'm live streaming. All of the products are down in the carousel. You can move the carousel side to side and add any product to your cart. Um, Sarah said she just bought the beauty blenders. Yay. I hope they work for you. Okay. Another item that I really like, I'm actually thinking about getting another one for a different area of my house is our um, makeup mirror. Now, I originally got this makeup mirror because I wanted something that worked off of batteries. Now, this does have a plug, so you can plug it into the wall, but let's say you wanna have your makeup done, you wanna do your makeup where you don't really have an outlet, you can put batteries in this, and then it's a fold-out mirror, so it's super compact. You can um, touch this button in the middle, and it's going to light up the mirror in the very center. Um, it has like, I think maybe um, it turns on and off. The mirror in the middle is just a regular mirror. On the side, you have two times and three times the magnification, but this is just such a great mirror. I love how compact it is. I love that it doesn't take up a lot of room. I have it in white, but you can also get it in a variety of colors that, you know, that works best for you. Yes. Um, so that is my makeup mirror. It has great stars. You know, it's definitely a good one. All right, let's move into some of our affordable kitchen items. Up first is the Dash Waffle Maker. If you guys don't have one of these, this is just a great way to make individualized waffles. It plugs into the wall. It doesn't have any buttons. As soon as you plug it in, it's going to start um, heating up as soon as the, the you're going to know that it's ready based on the um, button at the top. And you can just make your waffle. If you just want to make one or two waffles, it's such a great option. But this is a great little waffle maker. 
And I love that it's priced under $10. They even have like some holiday ones if you're interested in holiday ones as well. So uh, it's a great option. Beth, thank you so much. All right, next up, you guys, one of my favorite things is my popcorn popco. I guess popcorn maker is what it's called. <laughs> uh, but this is, look how compact this is before. Oh, you can kind of see it there. This fits so nicely in your cabinet or your drawer. It pops up. You can pop your air kernels in there. You do not need any oil, which I love. It's completely air popped. So it makes the popcorn a lot healthier. You can put any popcorn down at the bottom. There's a line that tells you how much to fill it up. Then you just place the lid on top. You put it in the microwave for a couple of minutes. It's going to pop up your popcorn so nicely. You can add any toppings you want. Um, you can eat it directly from this bowl. So it's kind of like an all-in-one system. You don't have a lot of dishes. And then when you're done, it folds up really nicely. So if you're needing a popcorn popper and you don't want to store like those big bowls anymore, if you don't have a lot of space, this is a great option. Now I have the blue one. It also comes in other colors and today it's priced at 10% off. So if you're interested in that, um, another item that I love under $20 for the um, kitchen is my super cube. Now this is the time of year where we're making a lot of soups. We're making a lot of chilies and you know, you may make a big batch and want to store it. What's great about this is you can actually fill these up they have marks on them for, uh, I think, half a cup and a cup. And then you can fill it up, put the lid on, and freeze it. That's going to create individualized portions of your soup. Then what you can do after you fill it up um, and everything's frozen, you can pop them out and store them in a Ziploc bag. So it's going to create those individualized portions. So it's not going to take as long if you freeze the whole thing. Um, maybe it's just one or two of you at your house. This is so much easier, or you could like take it with you for lunch the next day. These are just such good quality. Um, they do stack on top of each other too. And anytime I show them, I get lots of comments where people are like, Oh my gosh, I just love those so much. They're so cool. They do come in a bunch of different sizes as well. If you guys click on that link, you'll see all the different sizes to get whatever portion that you're looking for to freeze. We had a quick question going back to the nails. Jennifer wants to know with the glue, do you put the the glue on the real nail and the fake one? How do you apply the nails? That's a good question, Jennifer. Maybe we could show them that clip and I'll tell Jennifer. Well, let me um, find it. Yeah, that quick. might. So basically I put it on both to answer your question, Jennifer. So I actually will put it on the back of the fake nail and then I put it on my nail and then I bond it together. If I get any, actually I just hold it for five seconds. If I get any additional glue on, like maybe some glue will come out. I just take it like this and kind of wipe it on a towel. So make sure you have a towel that you don't mind, you know, glue getting on. But I find that if I put it on the back of the fake nail and on my nail, it makes a much better bond because sometimes when it's clear, you can't really, sometimes I feel like I miss. Um, so that's been my best technique to do it. So hopefully that helps a little bit. All right, next up, you guys, I wanted to show you, I don't show a lot of candles here on Amazon, but I do have a candle brand that I like that's under $20. It's these Lulu Campbells, or candles, um, and they just have a really great smell. Now, this one is the uh, jasmine and the sandalwood, I believe, um, but this has been a great candle. It smells really great. It's fragrant. Like, honestly, when you open it up, you can just like, like anytime we opened that candle up, it was like, wow, like it was that was so a scent. strong. <laughs> yeah. But like, like in a good way. Yes. Yeah. It was definitely a good thing because I just get so frustrated if I get a candle and you just can't even smell it. Yeah. You know, I it's know. like, ugh. but this one's good. I know they have a bunch of different scents. I cannot speak to any of the other scents. Uh, but this one's great. And it is a soy candle if you're interested in soy candles. I feel like I always compare candles to Bath and Body Works. Like that's the default for me. And this one I feel like has a stronger scent than Bath and Body Works just without yeah. even burning it. Like yeah. you can just have it sitting out and you mm -hmm. can smell it. It's awesome. Yes. No problem, Jennifer. I hope that helps. All right. Another item. This is something I discovered this year. And oh my goodness, I feel like it has made such a big difference in my house. So... If you have a rug that always curls up on the edge or the sides, or you just have trouble keeping it straight, or the other situation might be you have hardwood floors and your rug kind of moves around, 
these help so much these are called never curls and they're rubber corners that you can stick on the edge of any rug and it will help to hold your rug in place i have them on my living room rug but my daughter had a rug that was just sitting on her hardwood floors and anytime she'd go through a room the rug would like slide <laughs> in caroline's room and i'm like oh my gosh okay i was like i gotta get some of those never curls for that and we bought them and it, it does stay in place now so if you have that you know on hardwoods maybe you have like a oh what do you call them like a, a runner uh on your hardwoods and it moves around try these i feel like these have worked really well so that's my hack for rugs um another item that i use quite a bit is my remote cover for your roku remote if you have a roku remote i started buying these covers okay well first reason we started buying these was we lost the back to one of our roku remotes and we we're like okay, okay i don't even know where that's at so we got one of these covers but then we decided that they were really great for like keeping them from sliding around on the coffee table you know we could see the remote a lot better um so if you would like a cover for your roku remote i have this one in pink i don't does this one come in other colors delaney no let me Click on that and check. I'm not that sure one on this other. one. Oh, it looks like it does. Oh, this is the one that also has the glow in the dark oh, option. Yeah. So if you can't find it and you're in the dark, it has a glow in the dark <laughs> remote cover as well. I feel like that would be good for my bedroom because I feel like I always lose the remote I up there. <laughs> or it's I, like when you turn the light off and you're like, okay, yeah. I literally, I don't know where the remote is. And I, I don't want to turn the light back on. Yeah, that's funny. All right, I wanted to also show you guys two of my most affordable hooks that I use all the time. Now this first set, I don't know how they make this set so affordable. It is a pack of 12 and these hooks are so nice. I have used these in so many uh, different bathrooms. Now I do like in the bathrooms to put like a block of wood behind there. I just cut off a block of wood, I stain it, and then I put it onto the wall. You can see I have it, this is my daughter's bathroom, and I have like one next to her shower for her towel. And then I also put one of these hooks over to be like the hand towel. Uh, but I have them in both of my daughter's bathrooms. I've put them in my RV. I mean, you cannot beat this set of hangers. You get, it's $12.88 for 12 of those black hangers. I don't know how they do that. Uh, but these would be great for any sort of organization. You could also use them in a coat closet. Um, they would be great to hang coats, maybe by your front door if you wanted some hangers there. Now, another hanger, me and Delaney joke about this next command hook because these hang in my office right now. And I put so many different clothes on these hangers. You need to get and they, footage of what it looks like right now because there's not that many on the hooks in the clip. Yeah. And Liz puts a lot on I, these. I will, because, you know, a lot of times when we come here and film, I'll like change my outfit. So I just put a bunch of clothes on there and these suckers have stayed on there. I mean, probably a couple of years now, they do not come off. Like, I don't know why. So if you're needing some good command hooks, and I do like these because I feel like they're really stylish. I feel like these would make great like valet hooks in a closet mm -hmm. you know to put like your outfit you're gonna wear for the day if you wanted yeah. to set that out uh but i love these just there's some of my favorites okay another oh let's see let's talk a few more craft items and then i have some cleaning items um this first one is a set of gel pens if you're in need of a set of gel pens this is a great set by paper mate that is priced under $14. It's $13. Um, my girls love using these. They love writing with them. And they're just a great set of pens. So if you're needing a set of pens, these would be great. Another thing that I love to use when I'm crafting, especially this time of year when it's cold, is my spray paint turnstile. Now it's all you know, uh, oh, it comes show. black, but mine is that already had a lot of spray paint. Although actually that last time I spray painted was black. So it is black on top. I'll show the clip. This is yeah. what it looks like brand new. This is what it looks like you guys. <laughs> now this is great because when you're outside spray painting, you can actually turn and spray paint on here. So you don't have to get up and move around. The other thing is if you are spray painting this time of year and it's cold out, you may need to bring something inside or into your garage. You can actually hold it on the bottom and pick it up and carry the item into the house or into your garage without, you know, getting spray paint all over your hands. So these are great. I have a couple of them, but if you're if you spray paint, if you do anything like that, um, you're definitely going to want some of these because these are like one of my top crafting tools. 
I wanted to read off a couple questions we have coming in on YouTube. A lot of people were asking about your makeup. Um, and what makeup do you use? We had a couple people asking if you would do a live stream showing all your makeup in the future. Mm, that's a good idea. Yeah, that could be interesting to do. Like, you want me to do my makeup on the live stream? That might be kind of tricky. Oh, yeah. Do you want Liz to do her makeup live? Or do you just want us showing you all the products <laughs> she uses? Yeah, I could show Yeah. We could do either, but. I feel like we'd have to get the camera yeah. a lot closer. We'd it have might to be, be like... harder for us to do you doing your makeup live, but we could for sure do just showing you all of her products. Yeah. If you guys want that. And then it looks like, Reese, let me know if I'm saying your name right. Little behind, just joining. I've been using Lash Princess for years now, and people always ask me where I get false lashes, even though I don't have any on. Yes, it's <laughs> awesome. Thanks for letting us know that, Reese. I love knowing, you know, the products you guys are liking and what's working for you. Mm. So thank you for sharing. A lot of people want you to do it live. You know what we could do? We could do it as a live, but we could also film it for the second channel mm -hmm. for them to view. Because then they could go back to it. Yeah. We could, we'll think yeah. About it. We could also film a lot. Well, I, I don't know. I guess I could do it live. We'd have to get the camera closer. Yeah, that's my concern is the and tech the makeup part of it. mirror. I see, that's the was... side you guys don't yeah. see. My only concern is the tech side. I know we can do I know. it. We'll talk about it later. <laughs> I definitely think we could, but I would like to do that. And I was thinking, you guys, because I would. There's a lot of like beauty stuff I use that I use every day, and I'm like, I need to just have all like maybe just my whole like these are my makeup products for you guys in the Amazon store. So you have all that. So uh, Delaney and I will talk about that, but thank you guys for the recommendations. We really do value what you guys wanna see and try to bring those to you. So please um, keep those recommendations coming. Okay, I know you guys haven't seen this item because Delaney and I just filmed this video last week and mm -hmm. I was like, we need to add this to our Amazon store. So we were doing kind of like different blinds hacks and this is a microfiber towel that are sorry microfiber glove that comes with two and this is great for cleaning so many different surfaces you can put these on and clean but what we were using them for last week was to clean the blinds so you can actually use these to like go over your blinds individually you can kind of wipe down them um but i just think these are great you know you could use them really quickly to clean different areas around your house i think they're great for dusting like pick up a vase or a picture frame and easily you know just kind of get these clean so i think these are a great little cleaning tool i'm excited to have these um and they're not like like they're microfiber but they're not the microfiber that you don't mind putting against your skin does that mm -hmm. make sense yeah they're really soft you know like they're soft and um yeah like i don't mind wearing them they, they to me they just feel like a pair of like kids gloves you know mm -hmm. <laughs> like they're just really soft and um so love those julie and april thank you guys for following us here um love having you guys we have i see okay christy i see your question you yeah. did it on youtube and amazon wanted to know the name mm -hmm. and brand of your foundation and powder do you have those linked on amazon or those non-amazon products no, i'm gonna have to do all that I yeah feel like we'll have, have to do that yeah we'll have to do all of that we do have if you want to see any of liz's beauty products that she uses on amazon if you google liz finwick amazon store mm -hmm. and click on that you'll see an idea list called beauty that has all of her makeup she uses that is on amazon mm -hmm. on there yeah sorry we couldn't answer your question better um but we'll do that in the yeah, future for you guys i will um yes jennifer just said these would be great for the ceiling fan i oh, think about that would. honestly you could just walk around your house dusting with your hands maybe i'll just That's put these on my kids and i'll be like just go touch everything <laughs> in the house <laughs> that'll work Okay. All right. Another cleaning item, you guys. This was actually kind of really gross when we did this, but I bought this pack. Okay. These actually come in a pack of two. Now you may not know what these are, but these are to clean out your dryer vent. So if you pull out your dryer vent, did you know that it goes down so much farther and there's this lint that gets trapped underneath your dryer vent? So we did this in my dryer vent. Look how gross that is. We like stuck it down in there and we pulled out so much lint. It was pretty gross. Um, so this is kind of a handy tool to have. You can also use this on the outside of um, your vent. If you want to like stick this, you know, on the outside area, that would work as well. But you get a pack of two and they're under $9. I feel like I, now I need to do this to my dryer. Every time I see this, I'm like, oh, there's I so know, much lint down there. 
that you I can't know. even see. I know. I feel like I need to do it again from that time we did it. <laughs> All right, guys, I wanted to show you, I'm gonna kind of stand up, but probably what Delaney's gonna show you, you're gonna see better. I wanted to show you kind of my outfit and we have all the clips kind of showing you. Now this is one of my new casual outfits, but I, oh gosh, I just love this sweatshirt, but I'm gonna show you all the pieces I'm wearing. Now, first off, the hat that I'm wearing is on sale today. This is my Adidas hat. It's priced at $16. I have it in the black and white. I also have it in a cream and black. Delaney, you have it in cream and white, correct? It's a denim. Oh, you have it's the denim, denim one. It's denim and okay. black. You have the denim one. So this is a great hat. I can wear it in the winter. It's great, you know, in the summer, you know, at the pool and the beach as well. Just a great all-around hat. Now, my sweatshirt is this really cool, like, white and um, kind of a... It's kind of an gray. acid wash is yes. what I would say. So pretty. I did get a medium in it, um, which normally I get a large, but I was wanting this to be a little bit more fitted. Now, one of my favorite things that I wear way too much are my <laughs> leggings. Uh, and they're actually, did you notice they're 1614 and they're normally 1699? Like they're a little bit, I've never seen them under 1699, the leggings or the joggers. Maybe you need to buy more. Okay, Liz has like seven pairs of these, but honestly, I think you should buy more because you wear them so much. I I had five pairs. Okay, they're like the uh, guys. Sixteen dollars for these pants. I had five, and then I uh, painted in two of them, so I had to replace two of my pairs. <laughs> now I will say with the with the joggers, I do size up in them. I like them a little bit bigger, um, so I do prefer them to be sized up. But if you like a tighter pant, just go with your true to size. Okay, another thing I'm wearing is my fleece belt bag. This is a Sherpa material. It's a dupe for the Lululemon belt bag. Um, and a lot of people have told us, even on these live streams, they actually like the Sherpa bag better than um, the Lululemon one because it has the gold strap. But this is just a, such a pretty belt bag. I just bought it in the cream as well. So I have the white one and I have the cream. Uh, so just a really pretty bag and just perfect for this time of year. Okay, uh, let's see. Which other products should I talk about, Delaney? Sunglasses and the hat. I don't know if you said the shoes either. Sunglasses oh, yeah. and shoes. So my sunglasses. Now, these are the sunglasses that live in my car. These sunglasses are under $15. Did you guys know that most of the sunglasses on Amazon are under $15? I do not own a pair of sunglasses that aren't from Amazon. They're just so pretty. These are the ones my daughter likes the best. When the other day, me and Delaney were filming a bunch of outfits and I had all of my sunglasses sitting out and Annabelle came in and she put on every single pair and she's like, mom, these are the best. <laughs> and they were these ones. <laughs> um, but these are just so cute. I just, these are kind of my go-to that I love. Um, really affordable as well. Now the shoes, I was telling uh, Delaney the other day, I really have been wearing these shoes quite a bit. You would think that they wouldn't go with as many outfits as they do, but they go with so many different outfits and they're so comfortable. They're just like the perfect everyday shoe. I wear them with jeans. I wear them with my joggers. I ha I wear them with leggings, but they're cute. I get a lot of compliments on them. People are always like, oh, your shoes are so cute. And also, if you click on the link, they have them in a bunch of different colors as well. So, you know, if you're not necessarily into the polka dot look, you can get, you know, a color that works for you. So that is my entire outfit for the day. Um, I think we have it all together so you can kind of see what everything looks like. And you guys, all of those products are linked um, in the carousel. So you can click on any of those and add them to your cart. Now, if you are over on YouTube, I want to show you guys one more time how to get over here on Amazon because I'd love for you to come over here and add any item to your cart. So there's a shop here section in the description box. Click on it. You can go through any of the products on the carousel and add them to your cart. And we do appreciate when you purchase through our links because we get a small affiliate commission when you go through us and it just keeps us going. So we do appreciate that so much. And if you're over here on Amazon, thank you so much for watching. We'd love for you to give us a follow. We go live twice a week. We share budget-friendly finds, um, all the different categories. And um, yeah. So that was today's live stream. We're going to be back with you guys again next week. And thank you so much for joining us today. We'll see you in our next one. Bye.